Michelle Adams with the Law Office of Michelle Adams. And I'm coming to you today to talk about three myths that from time to time, I may hear someone mention it or I may hear something on television. And it's just one of those things where you're like, ah, let's just go ahead and clear up that myth. So myth number one is that probate means that you have died without a will. I was watching an episode of House Hunters the other day, and there was someone who was investing in property and they mentioned that the house was in probate. And so the definition comes across the screen saying that probate is when a person dies without a will. Well, that's not necessarily true. There are people who, when a person dies without a will, that's called dying intestate. And even if you have a will, you will go through probate depending on how the property is titled. So don't necessarily equate probate with not having a will because probate handles matters that both uh, where people have a will and where people do not have a will. So that was just myth number one. Myth number two, I was watching again, something on television and it left the impression that the uh, adult children could put plans in place for their adult parents. And I don't know if that was the intention, but let me just be clear. No one can make plans for someone else in terms of an estate plan. That would be coercion. That would be fraud. I mean, you can plead with them. You can reason with them, but you cannot force an adult to do something that you want them to do simply because you want ease at that person's passing or if they become incapacitated. A person's documents are their own. I've had people call me, adult children say, all right, well, we need to get a plan in place for you know, my parent. And after determining that the parent has capacity, then I need to speak to the parent. The adult child can definitely make that introduction, et cetera, but it's not the adult child who will direct how that planning process goes. So just because you want your parents to do something doesn't mean that you have the right to make them do something. You can make your own plans, but you can't plan for your adult parents. And then the third myth that I wanted to clear up going back to probate is that when you have assets that have a named beneficiary, so in a lot of cases that may be a 401k plan or a life insurance policy, things along those lines, the will does not control that. If you have named beneficiaries, then the company is going to pay out upon your passing to whomever it is that you've listed as a beneficiary. However, if, let's just say worst case scenario, all those beneficiaries pass away, so your primary and your contingent, and there's no one left, now the company is left with, I have to make this payable to the estate. Well, who controls the assets that are named to the estate? The will does. So at that point, we would refer to the will to see who the beneficiaries are. Of course, if there is no will, then guess what? Your estate has a plan for you. And that means that whatever order they have determined in terms of family members, that's who will inherit any assets where either there is not a named beneficiary or all of the beneficiaries have predeceased you. So wanted to clear up those three myths. Sometimes, you know, when whatever your profession is, when you hear someone saying something and you know it's not right, it just kind of drives you nuts. That's how I feel too. So this is Michelle Adams with the Law Office of Michelle Adams. And if you've heard any myths or you want to run something by me, please. Uh, make mention of it in the comments and I will do my best to get to it and perhaps do it via a video. Until the next time, take care.